my name is John Frederick Arnesen and I am a technical specialist for Bisterfelt here in Norway. We are Robos' partner in the Nordic area. I'm here today at the Skarv FPSO, operated by Acker BP. We are here because the maintenance supervisor reached out to us some months ago and wanted to learn more about additive manufacturing and how Robos can help them achieve a level of uh, production capability here isolated in the North Sea. We have a lot of different types of metal here and uh, we have uh, issues with uh, corrosion due to uh, different galvanic uh, features on the metals. And uh, if we can use uh, plastic parts or high uh, super polymer, uh, then uh, we'll have, uh, we have way less corrosion. We can also use it between metal parts and uh, we have uh, way too much uh, equipment now that rust due to this. And there's a lot of hard weather, not today, but uh, we have a salty wind and uh, it's a harsh weather condition for, uh, which, which makes a lot of corrosion. We had discussions together with Robos to see what was the best solution to get a machine capable of producing parts with super polymers like PEAK, PEC, Carbon PA. So it gives a lot of flexibility and a lot of solutions uh, for the maintenance guys here at the FPSO. We have uh, some uh, equipment that has a very long uh, delivery time. Others we have uh, a lot of stock, but uh, all these parts uh, we need to have a, a storage space for and we don't have room for everything uh, out there. And if we can have like a digital warehouse for normally used parts, maybe custom made for uh, better montage. And uh, also printing a part may take some hours, but it's better than waiting uh, between two weeks and uh, six months for the part. Here on the SCAR FPSO, we are about 200 kilometers away from the nearest supplier. Lead times is a challenge for Acker BP in this environment. Having 3D printer allows us to make parts on demand and have flexibility to make parts when we need them. We can make parts from very advanced materials like peak and carbon fiber reinforced peak. These are materials that have high corrosion resistance, high temperature resistance, and is already used a lot in the offshore industry today. An advantage with the additive manufacturing technology is that it's also a sustainable solution. You are not wasting more material than what you actually need. We have a lot of uh, valve handles in plastic. Sometimes they may uh, need a different design, need to be bigger, smaller, or they break. And then it's nice to be able to print. We have an uh, issue sometimes with uh, this uh, holder or the connection part for the bolt. They fall out, they break. So uh, this is uh, small parts we can print very easy and uh, yeah, use instead of changing the entire, uh, entire thing. One concept we are very passionate about is digital warehousing. The idea that you need to have a lot of storage space to keep a lot of parts in stock this is getting old-fashioned. The idea of a digital warehouse is something we really believe in. We believe this is the future. Why waste space with having a huge stock of material when you can keep the files digital and you can print them on demand? This will save space, it will save money, it's more sustainable and it makes the logistics a lot easier. With the additive manufacturing, this can be achieved. And we believe that here at the SCARV FPSO, they are one of the first players in this market to really take a huge step in this direction.